What's up, guys? It's Eli Friends. We're back with another video. I'm with my boy Jerry in San Francisco. I'm at DashCon. And Lewis, still in his computer room because he never comes out. Haven't even cleaned it. That's the same burrito for three months ago. Shaking my head. Hey, I can't. Man, I'm stuck. <laughs> and doors locked. Nobody can even. We're re reviewing the movie Lovebirds. And it's about a movie of these two people that fell in love, then they fell kind of out of love, then they get into an event where they have to get out of that event together and stuff happens. Craziness happens. Spoiler. Yeah. It's a, no, it's going to be spoiler free. You got to give us something, bro. Yeah. It's going to be spoiler free. All right, you, we could do spoiler free, then the second half could be spoilers. How about that? All right, all right, all right. All right, so who want to give your opinions first? Because y'all apparently, y'all didn't like the movie at all. No, I mean, I didn't have a problem with it, honestly. I was I was just messing with you. Oh. Yeah. What, what about you, Jerry? You say you didn't like it. Yeah, that movie was garbage. I didn't think it was. Why? I can see why he thinks well, that. Though. I really Well, so they, they try to make this movie seem like a comedy and you know somewhat like a love movie but all i got one for it from it is like two people that were extremely sarcastic and i did not even smile once in the movie it's an hour and a half and i was just waiting for the movie to end honestly just because of how to watch the first movie it really wasn't even that good yeah honestly. it didn't well, really there was a cool plot twist behind it but after that i went you know so i'm going back to bed yeah, they didn't really feel like a good couple to me. Like, not even a, a believable couple or anything like that. Yeah, it didn't feel original at yeah. all. Yeah, I feel like I watched it before, somehow. <laughs> yeah, like, I've seen this movie before. They just put a crime with it. Yeah, as for me, personally, I really didn't have, like, a problem with it, considering you made me watch The Wrong Missy last week. <laughs> um... I'm not gonna lie, I did laugh a couple times, but it was more so like it wasn't it wasn't a ha ha. That joke was funny. Laugh it was more so like a that wasn't not funny. <laughs> LOL. All I got from it was like LOL. Yeah, it was, like, it was like when you're it's like when you're on your phone and you text like a bunch of crying faces and you're just sitting there like You didn't like you didn't actually laugh, you some air came out your nose, you like you're just sitting there like <laughs> uh yeah um, it's like when some lame friend just shows you a bunch of memes and not funny that's exactly what this movie is dang well, yeah. I, I enjoyed the movie i thought the movie was funny i like the leads i like i was like I, I wasn't done <laughs> what oh he, jesus <laughs> um the whole I'm gonna spoil it. Is that cool? Maybe we have to all give our unspoiler free thing first. Oh, okay. Well, towards the end of the movie, there's there's a, like the whole plot about what uh, what what begins to drive the movie forward is is kind of completely uh, just done. That's over with, and then the movie just like moves on without it and it's it just feels like really jarring uh it's like from one second to the next the whole like the the biggest plot point um the 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 how do i say it the sequence of events didn't feel like they were worth anything due to this revelation so mm -hmm. i really felt like the entire movie was was just like um completely completely wasted up to that point if you want to get spoilers let's just all give ourselves a quick would you recommend the movie to someone type situation would you recommend the movie if you're bored yeah it's not really a i don't think it, it's not as bad as the wrong missy what about you jerry i want to go back in time and tell myself not to watch that movie and tell you not to watch that movie either and this movie was originally supposed to come out in theaters. So would you even be more upset that you spent money to watch this it, theater? I can't I can't see it in, as a theater movie, nope. So this I'll smack in the face when I get out of the movie theater. 
So even though this was a movie that came out, uh, was supposed to come out the you would say it benefited more, like you're giving it more of a that, like more of a benefit because it's on Netflix now instead of. On yeah, it's Netflix. like for, if you watch spend your own money watching the theaters, you'll probably be a little bit more upset. Is what you're saying? Yeah, for one, it's free, so I mean, you know, there's a, there's really no reason not to watch it, but yeah, it is pretty bad. So this is a movie that would would have bombed at the boss box, uh, box office. Definitely. Throughout the spoilers. You didn't like uh, well, well, what I was talking about was when when they're in the police station and uh, and the the detective is like, okay, yeah, we knew all along. Oh yeah, like the whole entire thing was they was running and <laughs> yeah, we knew the whole time. It's, it's like it's like the okay, movie would have not happened. They overreacted. So, so what's up with the sex cult? They're not gonna get Obviously, taken down. I thought, I thought I was in the Purge movie for a second when I saw everybody with masks. I was like, "Ooh, it's getting interesting," but nah, not even well, that. The bad guy. I thought I thought they were gonna get into some like really deep territory, and then it wasn't the, about the sex code. It was about them and the bad oh. guy that killed someone. That's it. The sex code was the middleman, but it was what drove the plot kind of too. He was the guy. He was the guy protecting the sex code, and he hired some other people, and they was trying to blackmail him. So he killed them. It's just, yeah. It was just there for a plot point. Yeah, it was a dumb plot point. Dang. I don't even know what to say. I don't know. None of, none of it just felt earned. I don't know. It was dumb. I don't even know what else to say about this movie then, I guess. It's just, they didn't I enjoy it. Like, I give it like a, I don't know, like a four out of ten. I give it a six out of ten. What about I you? I give it a three out of ten. A three out of ten. I would okay. even go back in time and tell three. myself not to watch that movie. So guys, I guess we just have another bad movie. Lewis is gonna pick the next movie that we're gonna review. A horror movie. <laughs> it might be old, it might be new, but yeah, he's gonna pick it and it's gonna be because he's sticking me in my movies, even though I'm just picking the movies that come out. I can't. It's not my fault. They're bad. For for what? For what? <laughs> For what, dude? Like, if we were at the theater, okay, sure, yeah. The new stuff that, you know, not everybody is going to be watching. theaters, we would like, have been on. watching freaking uh, Fast and the Furious right now. Black yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm good stuff. <laughs> Look, most companies are going to keep their good movies and wait for theaters to come out. They're not about to throw out their good movies. Like, the movies that come out straight to video, you know they was like, we probably wasn't going to make that much money. That I could probably find a better movie at YouTube, honestly. Well, the, what's it called? Uh, the movie I'm excited about is the one on Disney Plus, that Disney movie that was supposed to come out. Oh, Which one? yeah, yeah. Uh, let me find it. I'll link it. Uh, Ar- Artemis Fowl. Artemis yeah. Fowl? Oh. Yeah. I'm excited for that. That comes out next month. Maybe it'll be good. Hopefully. Cost two hundred million to make. <laughs> I think something like that costs a lot. But yeah, any last words about this movie before we peace out, guys? Trash. Yeah. If you get in trouble. <laughs> all the cops aren't bad. What? I don't what? know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys. Till right. next time.